So my name is Monique Noel um, and I lead the women's group here, the women's justice group called the Downtown Women's Action Coalition mm -hmm. at LA Can. Um, I'm also the director of development and special projects. I used to work for a law firm um, and in 2015 um, a brother called Charlie Kuneng was shot multiple times um, and the LAPD said that he was reaching for his gun and that's the reason why they shot and killed him, why they murdered him basically. And we just didn't buy it. So um, there was also another sister that was there um, and she was suffering with mental health issues um, and they were on display on that day too. So she was there, she saw what happened and she was kind of instinctively felt like something was wrong. So she stepped up and stepped towards the officers, not confrontational, um, just asking what's going on. One of them dropped their baton. So she went to pick it up and offered it to him. They all dived on her, pushed her to that she's fragile. She was about 110 pounds or something. Very, very small, very petite. Um, and then they charged her with um, assault on an officer with a deadly weapon, like it was crazy. Um, they put her um, inside and her bail was a million dollars. So we got to hear about this wow. case. Um, and LA Kang came to us and said, could you guys help with this? I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, and we believe that they're holding her as a political prisoner too because she saw what happened. Um, so we came out and we took her on as a client. We got her out of jail. Um, we got them to drop the charges because it was ridiculous. But then I came to see the work that LA Kang was doing and I was like, wow, you, you guys are doing yeah. amazing work. How can I get, what can I do? So I was just volunteering. Um, and kind of providing some assistance um, with some of the impact litigation cases that they had and other things where I felt that I could fit in. Um, so I'd been volunteering for a while and then I just got closer and closer to the organization um, and then just started working for LA Can. Yeah, I think that my fear is that a lot of what some of the people in power are saying is just lip service. Mm -hmm. And so they're just kind of responding to what they're seeing and just trying to say the right things. Yeah. So I really hope that we do see more investment in community, or that we see more of the funds and the resources coming to where it needs to go. We know that there's a huge budget to address um, homelessness. Mm -hmm. We're not seeing any of that here on the streets. And one of our major campaigns at the moment, which is defund the police. We need people to show up and to kind of be with us and work in that campaign with us. So as much as people get to know about the work that's happening there, it's a great thing. Um, we're also doing the food that you've seen on Wednesdays and Sundays. Um, we also have um, a committee, which, uh, which is the Food and Wellness Collaborative. Mm -hmm. So we grow food on the garden top. Yeah. We also encourage people to garden and to learn, you know, what you're growing and the benefits of it to, to people in your body. Yeah. Um, there's no food in Skid Row, like I said earlier. There's no access to fresh organic food. So we know it's hugely important that we grow our own food um, and that we're able to uh, give people access to fresh, healthy foods and yeah. just educating people about what it, what it means to be well and how food is medicine. Um, so things like that inspire me just to be here and just to be working yeah. with people who are doing that, who are making that effort to do that. Um, we also have the women's uh, wing that I mentioned to you before. Yeah. And what we, what we do is really just address um, the issues that women face here. Already we know, and, and as a woman you know, that women's voices mm -hmm. are suppressed. <laughs> like at yeah. the best of times, people aren't trying to hear us. Imagine in an area like this, it's almost like the voice is taken from it. People are just not responding to the needs of women in this area. So what we do, a lot of our work is focused on um, a needs assessment. So we go out and we speak to women. We say, what does it mean to be well? What do women need to survive and to be well here in Skid Row? Mm -hmm. We take that information, we put it into reports. We go, we're trying to influence policy, um, but also just listening to what we hear too. So we'll hear that women feel as though we can't rest. We can't like a lot of yeah. a lot of the times, and I've seen this myself. Um, a woman sleeping outside of her tent with one eye open because you have to be watching your yeah. belongings, you have to be watching what's coming up, you know? Mm -hmm. And so people don't get the chance to actually let their bodies sleep and be rest and repair. They don't get that. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to respond to that and find out, okay, there are no hygiene kits here. Let us bring some things that you all need. Let mm -hmm. us bring the things that, that the city is really falling short of providing. kind of spread the word of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, if they could look at our website and then our social media presence and kind of just share 
or like share and like also donations help yeah <laughs> like, it really it really helps um we are having to buy things that we didn't have to buy before um and yeah. so you know there's this we need money for that yeah so if people could donate like um items money to buy items food that would be really really helpful i want to say thank you guys <laughs> you mm. guys are doing you haven't even met us but for some reason you just felt touched and moved to, to do what you're doing to provide food and make food and, and have it delivered here and I just want to say I'm really, really grateful. Not just me, but everybody here at LA Can is really grateful for you all for doing that. And thank you to both, um, mm. Jenny and, and Alex. You all, you bring people down here and I'm like, wow, <laughs> like, this is amazing. So just thank you. Just thank you for what you do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Moni. Yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh.